Hi, in this video I'm going to talk you through how to fill in match and H2H -H data into the true odds and value detector spreadsheet, especially in the league games with H2H -H history. We are going to start straight with the spreadsheet and you have probably noticed that there are on the bottom different tabs and we are right now in the home tab. This is going to be the match Atletico Madrid against Valencia and you can see um, that there is of course still old data in which I'm going to delete everything what is light green you just highlight and press the delete button. Then you have prepared already as I explained in an another video the um, data sheets for the um, historical match results and you just simply go on them and copy and paste. Do the paste special so that you only uh, take over the values to protect the formatting in the spreadsheet and I am here just simply clicking, copying, pasting, clicking, copying, pasting and the whole thing is with a little bit of so with a little bit of praxis oh I'm going to the wrong spreadsheets now it's a pretty fast job so copying again just pasting copying pasting so and we have in a second we have finished the home team so the same is then of course done for the away team I don't think that I need to bore you with this because again you just go here on the away tab I've deleted already everything and then you go to the spreadsheet to the 2012-13 to the RBA tab and here you just again start copying and pasting the data. So the next step is to get the H2H -H data in the spreadsheet. For this you best open up Bed Explorer click on soccer, wait until it opens, scroll down, we are looking at Spain, click on Spain, again waiting, Primera Division, click, so then here you have the head to heads, click, so we are looking at Atletico Madrid against Valencia and we are looking at the home matches show, scroll down, mark the whole lot up to the title, right click mouse, copy, go back to the spreadsheet, paste special, text, ok. So as we are only looking for the last three years, you can delete the bottom and now there is coming up a little bit of a manual job which is the full time and the half time results. For the half time results you will need to open every tab of the details in an extra tab so I'm doing it so that it can do the opening while we are going to transfer the full time results and the full time results is pretty um, straightforward. You just type down as you see. So I'm doing it now. 1 nil, 1 nil, 3 2, 1 nil, nil 1. So remember, it's all about statistical distributions, and we need to get simply the data into the spreadsheet actually to be able to calculate a distribution expectation. So one one I remember 
nil nil is clear, one one again. So one one nil nil one one nil nil so our next one is again one 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 nil one 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 nil two two so next one is one nil you can see it here even if it's not here one nil this is one nil nil one so next is nil nil it's again one nil 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 one nil and the very last one it was a nil nil at half time so this means the data is now in we have the head to heads so our way we haven't finished and we have the home team and the next would be then filling in the data from which you find in Betfair for example but how this data is going to be filled in I'm going to explain in a different video thank you very much for listening and I hope to see you again bye bye